the WBC lightweight championship of the world is on the line. Eurekis Gamboa, 38 years old, 17 years older than Devin Haney. Haney, four inches taller, three and a half inches taller. And look at the reach advantage, Sergio, seven full inches for the 24 and 0 Haney. <laughs> Sometimes it's, you know, fighters like Gamboa are too old to help what they really are or what they become. I mean, at 38 years old, does he have the legs to be as explosive as he used to be? Haney landing 24 punches through round three, Gamboa 11. And here's a stat for you. Coming into this fight, Haney has a streak of 41 consecutive rounds in which he landed more total pun punches than his opponent. More active, more accurate, Devin Haney. Nice right hand by Haney. Well, look, we talk about the lightweight division, and Teofimo Lopez is at the top. Ryan Garcia, Gervonta Davis, two of the more marketable fighters in that division. But there are people in boxing that will tell you that Devin Haney is the most talented of these young lightweights. His skill is widely respected. Big right hand there from Devin Haney. Going downstairs and then trades the left hook. Man, just beautiful combinations. He stepped back, landed two punches, and then the uppercut and left hook. Every punch in the book right there in four punches. I'm not sure how Gamboa took that uppercut. That was a big shot for me. I'm really surprised with, with Gamboa's chin. These are shots that normally goes down. There's, There's another a, one. A lead right hand from Haney. And it was the uppercut that ended the fight against Gervonta Davis against Gamboa. They say the legs are the first thing to go, but power and experience are the last thing to go. So Gamboa has that going for him. Haney landing more, Gamboa holding on more. Oh, and there's a hit on the break, and he will get warned. Listen to me. On the break, one more time, I'm going to take a point away. You understand? No punch on the break. That's frustration right there, Todd. That's frustration that Haney's not letting him stay in the inside to land anything, so he wanted to land on the break. Gamboa would love to just turn this into a street fight. That's exactly what he needs to do. Like I said earlier, turn this into a, a, a gun affair, a gunslinger. Be a gambler in there, Gamboa needs to be a gambler with his punches. See how Gamboa just fell off balance right there coming forward? That's what Haney wants him to do. That, ex that explosiveness is not there by Gamboa, so the only, the only way he's going to be successful is if Haney stays in front of him, or he fights in the inside, which he's not going to do. The intensity will die down the second half of the fight for Gamboa, and that's, that's where Haney should pounce on that. No oh, big left hook. Gamboa's head snapped to the left. Takes another one. And every time you see a fighter shake their head and say, that didn't hurt, it hurt. And these are the punches I was talking about earlier. It's the left and right hooks around the guard. But he's setting them up with those sharp, stabbing right hands. Oh, and a big overhand right. How did Gamboa stand up from that one? Heavy, heavy punches landing for the dream. Gamboa turns 39 years old in December. Haney turns 22 in two weeks. 17 years difference. Okay, break, stop, stop. And he just missed I was on that same right hand. Thing. Just clipped the tip of the jaw with that right hand. And Good those punch. are the punches I was talking about earlier, the ones that are going to come around the glove, whether it's a left or a right, but it's going to be more of a hook-type punch. You know, one name we've almost completely walked off the plank in this division is Lomachenko. Could you see Haney versus Lomachenko in the future? I doubt it. I think Lomachenko most likely is earmarked for a return to 130 pounds, where top rank has several high-level fighters, including Shakur Stevenson, which will be a terrific you know, Olympian versus Olympian matchup. 
Haney refusing to let Gamboa hold on here. He might take a point. And you can see Haney's legs, they're so agile. He jumped in with a left hook right there. All Gamboa can do is hold down. One point holding. No more. Let's go. Sergio, I brought this up with Rydell Booker in the last fight. Gamboa is a tough guy, but you've seen a lot of his fights. Do you get the sense he's in this fight to win? He was in this fight to win, not the second half. I'm telling you, that the intensity has died down because the fatigue has set in into his legs. Right now, Haney senses that, and that's why he's taking more chances. Expect Haney to walk back uh, Gamboa and take a couple more chances offensively. telling you right now, this fight is not over. Haney is still looking for that knockout right now, and he's already invested enough to the body to have Gamboa tired in this last round. And we haven't really even mentioned Haney's surgically repaired shoulder. It looks pretty darn good. A shot to the body. Will we have some late fireworks here? 30 seconds to go. Final round. Again, just off the mark for Haney. Haney's looking for a home run, I'm telling you, whether it's a right uppercut and left hook, he's looking and barely missing. And that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, from here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel Casino, we go the distance, 12 championship rounds of boxing. And now, at this time, we go to the judges' totals. Here they are. Judge Fernando Barbosa seeks the belt, 118-109. Judge Michael Tate, and Michael Ross have the bout 120 107 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, the WBC reigning lightweight champion of the world, Tevin the Dream Haney.